Hello everyone, my name is Karima Bushusha. I'm senior lighting artist at Ubisoft. And today I'm gonna show you how you can get cinematic lighting like this scene. And I will give you some tips and secrets about the lighting. So let's start on Unreal Engine. The first thing I did here in my scene, I create HDRI drop uh, with lower end density and I just keep the light as blue. So I selected this uh, HDRI, okay. And after that, let's start to create spotlights. Okay, uh, as I mentioned in the post in LinkedIn, so it's not good idea to use directional light because let's see if we use directional light here. You see, the problem with directional light, it's cast lighting everywhere and it's gonna be very hard to get the cinematic looks like you want. So what I would prefer always to use some fake lights. Okay, so I just want to do like this to pack to normal and then let's create spotlights. So the first thing you have to know what you want to highlight the key element so my key element here is the gate so i'm gonna start to add the big light source on the gate okay to make the eye catching so i'm gonna create this spotlight with long radius and let's make this 300 for example and let's draw it there okay so now we have this spotlight so if we go go back to our camera to see how it looks it looks okay and we highlighted we could add more light or uh, 400 and now let's move the let's change the temperature to something like 420 to get some yellow color at sun it looks like the light comes from the sun but it still looks flat so what i am doing here uh, we use nice idea to create textures and use the li light function the light function will give us some uh, shadow fake shadow that will give us more uh, soft shadow and uh, it's gonna fake the shadow comes from the trees okay like in real life so i create this one and i use this texture it's costless but it doesn't matter wh what kind of texture you're gonna use but you need uh, texture black and white okay and now let's go and bring this here so as you can see here we could see a little bit of shadow but absolutely we can refine this look by it change the scale you see now it looks much better than before because as i mentioned before if we remove this you see it's flat but here we have some kind of shadows let's go back to direction light and try to highlight the top because i need to highlight the top okay now you can play with nesthesia in dynasty so we can make it f okay i think it's 400 that's enough okay so now this is the first part so now we c we highlight the gate so what we're gonna do now to create some fake lights around the place to highlight the other props for example here we have some rocks so i'm gonna try to add some light or on top of these rocks to highlight and make separate this rock from the background we could use the same spotlight but short radius and let's 
bring this way up In this case, we could remove the shadow. We don't need the shadow. Because I just need to highlight some area. I will turn off this. Um, you see now we have this nice spot here and let's drag one more there you see now we have some nice shadow and some lighting so if we turn off this light you see it's a big difference so now we we need also to add some light on the characters right to just add some backlight so we could move this light to match the angle and from here as you can see here the shadow is too sharp so if we change the source radius now we start to get some nice shadow and that's what we are going to do we could change the radius too and we can take one more here you see we have very nice shadow so now the character it's visible and separate from the background so that's not enough for me because i need to still ha get some highlight also in this area so let's try to make some uh, it's kind of uh, uh, not levels uh, layers we need to create some layers To make the scene looks nicer. Let's change the radius and the intensity so maybe 100 you see we have now uh, yes something like that so we have nice lighting yes with low intensity now also we could use point light for example and let's drag it here to just make some uh, uh, pack lights okay so for 20 and make the radius more so now let's change the radius okay so if we turn this off you see it there is a big difference so we could yeah get some big light here okay and now we can add more spotlights around but be careful from the spot slides so be sure you turn off volumetric scattering because we don't need any scattering from here we're gonna just keep the big one so 
so now I will add one more here um, let's change the radius you see we just trying to get some nice lights and as I mentioned we have to uh, make the layers separate from the background so one like that and maybe we could add one here too oops So the idea, the idea here to just try to keep the light visible from the sun and make the uh, fake lighting look. Also, you see here some spotlight there, and we have a branch of the tree here. We could use one here also you see give a it give nice look and now let's try to light this area so we're gonna use big one here I think it's better to just keep it smaller um. that not too bad but I just want the eye catching just look at the the gates so I will keep the lights very low okay and um, we could add one more here uh, just smaller one here okay and in the end you can add one here to make uh, this area visible also Let's take one here. But in this case, I'm gonna make the the indice like three. but I would move this light yes maybe here to we'll just try to highlight only this area with low and density okay so that's it as I said you can fake the shadow you can fake the sun uh, make the sunlight from the spotlight by using this kind of tips uh, if we go back to HDRI it's better to disable and enable again to just blend it the light because it's gonna match the light again uh, this area I think the uh, light's strong, so let's try to work on 100, for example. Okay, and also because we have uh, we have this area, uh, the water. So sometimes I would like to add some spotlights in the water to just blend the light.
you see just a little bit of light and also one here maybe okay you see now we have a very nice look absolutely you can add more light as you wish just try to put some light around to a highlight and for me sometimes i want to add very high light strong light maybe on the gate here uh, we could use point light to just add some highlights on this area you see now we get some highlights in this area but let's change the radius so let's take a look here now if we remove this you see we have some highlights so absolutely you can use spotlight if you don't want to cast shadow f on the top we can just put one spotlight here because I need this area to be highlighted so now we have a very nice look of lighting if you want also you could add some on the top or even far away to just make some layers but try to match the same light direction and for sure you can add some here also on the back here to break the blue color you see now it looks more nicer but what I feel here is there is spot 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 so that's too much and destroyed the vision so maybe we could remove that one and that one okay this light also it's a bit strong and then we have this light okay uh, for sure you can work on it to get your own mood but you see here I add some light and it changed the uh, uh, I changed some contrasts and I work it more on the colored so if we go to the post processing absolutely you can work on your own post processing you see you can change the light as you wish so that's pretty much i wish you like this video and get some tip from that uh, please don't forget to share my video if you like it and see you in next video thank you bye bye